We've already spent a lot of time this spring talking about how messed up the conditions are. We've talked about our rutting development issues, we've talked about the excess of moisture, we've talked about the cool soils. And now you're starting to hear us talk more and more about nitrogen needs for this season. Some of you had nitrogen plants that were messed up because of cold wet snaps where we couldn't get in the field as this crop emerged. Others of you had everything out this fall or this spring and it's been exposed to a couple of soaking rains. But what I do know, while I'm not the right guy to talk about those things with you, I am the right guy to talk about some of the solutions that are out in front of us and how we can deal with the hand that we're dealt right now. I'm Keith Byerly, Precision Ag Manager at Central Valley Ag, and this is your Precision Focus that corresponds with my article on the CVA blog site. When it comes to side dress nitrogen, you really have two choices. You have the old standby tradition with urea over the top as a side dress. Nothing wrong with that program. We have some other options in our disposal now. And one of those options that we didn't necessarily have before is the liquid side dress. In the past, liquid side dress was limited to a culture machine applying that nitrogen down the center of our row. For those of you that are in the hillier areas of our trade territory, I know that you shudder when we hear that because there's no surer way to ensure a thunderstorm's gonna come through and wash that nitrogen down or cause erosion than to pull a culture machine through this field in the month of June. We started to see options like the 360 Y-Drop come to the market. These gave us an option to apply liquid in season but without disturbing the soil for that placement. Imitators have come on the market since 360 first appeared. Those imitators are by and large placing that nitrogen down the center of the row with a single drop scenario. When we look at this root development that Mike and I have been talking with you about, we know that we are not gonna have the same roots underneath these crops that we normally see. And as our roots grow in a conical pattern, that means if we place nitrogen in the middle of the row, we've really got to rely on some moisture to come in and push that nitrogen down to where it can get into the plants. With the Y-drop system, that's not the case. Where we apply our nitrogen next to the plants, we can have that opportunity to have as little as a quarter of an inch of rain funnel down that plant and wash that nitrogen into our soil right there where it's needed. We get a much faster reaction, we get a bigger bang for our buck, and when we're side dressing, let's face it, we want things to green up and we want it to green up fast so we felt like we've done something. So, agronomically, the Y-drop is the better option versus the center of the furrow application. So that's really what I want you to focus on right now. But if you do need additional nitrogen, I want you to do your homework about the Y-drop system. This system is that Cadillac system that's gonna do exactly what you want every time you go out there, but you've gotta make sure it's right for you. So, with the Y-drop system, we've got this window of application from V4, V5, all the way up until we can no longer get our machine over the top of that canopy. You've got time to study, you've got time to make a decision, but you don't have a lot of time. So talk to your ACS equipment manager and decide if Y-drops are a good fit for you this season.